Is it over or not? Because if it's not, then I can't tell. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we're going to talk about Super Bowl 56 and the mask requirement that was apparently not followed by any of these celebrities and politicians and so-called important people in our society. Now, before I get into that with pictures and videos to prove what I'm going to say, let's back up a little bit here and talk a little bit about the game. Just a little bit about the game. Uh, congrats to the refs. I mean, the Rams for winning. It was really close. Well, not really close. I would say that it looked like the Bengals were going to win up until the zero hour until the last minute of the game where the refs started throwing their flags all of a sudden. They weren't calling any calls. They weren't doing anything. They pretty much had a whistle as a necklace, as a decoration piece. They weren't calling anything until the very end. And then at that point, that's when the Rams were able to score and they were able to win at their home stadium. And if you know about sports, Super Bowls are usually, well, they're, they're always neutral, although sometimes someone may play in their home stadium. It just so happened that Super Bowl was going to be in Los Angeles, nice and sunny, 80 degrees or whatever, and the Rams play in Los Angeles, so it was their home stadium. So they won at home. Um, in my humble opinion, the refs had a little bit to do with it, but I can't say it was ripped because I don't know that, and I digress. Also, the halftime show, it was okay. I can't say it was the best thing I ever saw, seen in my life, but it was pretty nostalgic. You know, I remember all those songs from when I was younger, high school, college, a little bit later, uh, 50 Cent and Eminem. And Eminem kneeled, by the way. I didn't know what he was doing. He It was kind of like he was scrunched up, like he was hurt. It's like, sir, are you okay? What's happening? I was more interested in Dr. Dre playing the piano and playing the, the intro to Tupac, I Ain't Mad At You, and still DRE and a few more things that got my attention that Eminem kind of scrunched up trying to kneel for black lives matter or whatever, but different story. I move on. The whole point is that the halftime show was cool. Uh, the end of the game was kind of, kind of a little, a little fishy, but overall it was a decent game. Now let's get to the whole thing about the mask mandates that a lot of these celebrities apparently refuse to follow. And, and the funniest thing before I get into it, is the reaction from those that support the celebrities and support the mandates and the lockdowns and whatnot talking about, Oh, they got the vax. They don't need to wear a mask. Yeah. Uh, you make them out of a molehill, all this and that, but let's get into what LA County put out on their Twitter page. This is the LA County public health department. And I'll link to all my sources in the description box. So you can see this for yourself, but check it out right here. It's like a little graphic it says headed to the big game. And there's four little points. Don't forget to bring proof of vaccination card or a negative virus test, PCR or antigen. Second, bring a valid ID if 18 or older. Oh, I thought that was racist. I thought that um, having identification was racist. So let me get this straight. To go watch football, you got to have an identification card. But to... Um, to vote you don't okay whatever and so i guess kids can't come to the game is that is that discriminatory but anyway wear a well-fitted high quality mask for increased protection this is what it says these are the requirements it's not a recommendation well-fitted high quality mask for increased protection because if i'm not mistaken there are still mask mandates right now in la county so you got to wear a mask right that's what it says right here straight from LA County Public Health Department. And then last, get tested after the event as an extra precaution. So th this is what's going on. Now, some may say these are recommendations, but I don't think so. You gotta have your, your negative virus test and or your, your, your Vax card, uh, gotta wear a mask, all this and that. And there's mask mandates in LA County. Kids gotta wear masks in schools in LA County. But let's see how these celebrities did now. Here's a video. There's sound to it, but I won't play the sound because I don't want to get a strike from Super Bowl 56. But see, you got a few guys right here um, in the stadium. By the way, you had 70,000 people in the stadium. 70,000. 70, comma, zero, zero, zero. Quite a few people. So here you have, you have Jay-Z hanging out, taking pictures. 
uh, Matt Damon, and he's around a crowd of people. They're talking. Uh, close quarters. Ain't nobody wearing no mask. It's all good. Okay. Charlize Theron. We'll, we'll see her a little bit later. And this appears to be some kind of press box or something. This does not appear to be just out there, you know, in the stadium. Because some are going to say, well, they, they're outdoors. Actually, they're not. I think SoFi Stadium has like a translucent roof. So it's like a, it's like a, 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 a dome. It's not just like outside totally. Even if it was outside totally, this does not appear to be in the outside part of an outdoor stadium, right? So she's out there. LeBron, Bron Bron out there. Okay, J Lo, uh, was it a Benifer, <laughs> Ben Affleck, J Lo, Emmett, shout out to Emmett, one of the best running backs of all time, if not the best. Big fan has when I was a kid for sure. Hey, Emmett Smith posters, Troy Aitman, Michael Irvin, yeah, shout out to the Cowboys back in the nineties. They were America's team for real. And who was this right here? I'm not sure who that is. Y'all probably know in the comments, but I don't see his name. Oh, Chris Tucker, of course. You know he's chilling, no mask going. They go Bron again. All right. Uh, Magic, of course. You know, Shalee's back to her. They got on the LA, LA Rams gear. I forget who this is. Y'all, y'all know, but I, I recognize his face. I don't know his name. Sylvester Stallone, is that, is that it is right there? So all the, all the LA Hollywood people are in the building. No, none of them, not one of them has their mask. Not one. But yet there's a mask requirement. So why are they not wearing it? What's going on? Now, we got a few more people here that you didn't even see in that video. There's a few more. Now, here, this is the U.S. Army at the game, right? And you see he has on like an N95 type mask, super super high quality. This is what you're supposed to be doing at the game per that recommendation or order, whatever, from L.A. County Health Department. This is this is the the mask you should be having that you should wear, right, according to what they say. So military, y'all got to go out there and do it. Normies, you go to work, you go to school, you got to do it. But if you're a celebrity, you're a politician, do whatever you want. Now, here is Charlize Theron yet again. I don't know when this particular tweet on the left was posted, but you see her right here in the car by herself, or she could be with somebody else, but it does not appear to be some kind of packed car. I don't see 70,000 people in that car with her. I see her and I don't see anyone else. So she has on a mask in the car, probably by herself. And then the caption says, don't be an ASS, hashtag wear a damn mask, right? And then you see her on the right side of this particular split screen suite with, it's like, it's like the reverse. It's like rather than the mask covering her, 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 her mouth and her nose, you got the sunglasses covering the eyes and the hat covering the head, but no mask on at all. Not what none whatsoever. She's chilling, minding her business, right? And here we have uh, Steve Kerr, I mean, Ellen, out there at the game, taking the big selfie. You can see the size of the crowd. It's thousands of people in the crowd. And she has on no mask, right? But you see right here on the left where you have this tweet from uh, January 27, 2021. The, the tweet says, wear masks when you go out and watch masks while staying in. Hashtag the mask dancer. Is on Fox at 8 o'clock, 7 Central. You see it right there. This is just one year ago. She's saying, wear a mask, all this, that, and the third. But she's not wearing the mask in the stadium of 70,000. Okay? And they're pretty close elbow to elbow. Ain't no six feet apart there at all. Okay? And then you have your man, your main man that I've spoken about before, Eric Garcetti, the mayor of Los Angeles, the guy that's um, having these mask mandates stay in place who wants to fight for all these restrictions and lockdowns and mandates, things of that nature. Again, picture not wearing a mask, having a conversation. What appears to be like the concourse area, a little, a little concessions area. You're not, you're not outside. Y'all just having a good old little chat real close, no distancing. Okay. If he was to go just move his, his arm two inches, he'd be locked arms with the guy that's right next to him in the dark blue Polo shirt with the white strip on the collar, right? So is he holding his breath right here? I think he's holding his mask right here. <laughs> You're holding your mask right there because you want to have a conversation. You're not taking no picture. Y'all just having a good old chat. Because remember the whole thing with Eric Garcetti when he got caught the last time with no mask going on in the picture. Oh, you know, I was just taking the picture and I was holding my breath. It's like, really? Come on, man. 
I was born at night, not last night. So stop playing the games. What the cool kids say, stop the cap. Right. So, yeah, I mean, I think it's over. That the scam, dimmit, whatever you want to call it, is over with. And it's been over with for a long time. If you're still wearing the mask because you are believing what they're saying, I don't understand why. If you want to wear a mask for your own personal reasons, that's one thing. But because if, if you think that they are telling you the truth, they're not, obviously. Okay. If, if the only reason why you're still wearing the mask is because of your Eric Garcetti's and uh, Magic Johnson and whoever are talking about X, Y, and Z, they're, they're, they're not telling you the truth because they're not doing it. They're not. People talking about, oh, they got the vaccine, so they're straight. Well, they're talking about, you can have the vax or not have the vax. Still got to wear the mask. But they're not doing it. And who says they're vaxxed? How do we know that? They could say they're vaxxed, but how do we know telling the truth? They can tell us anything. But like, yeah, I'm vaxxed and have never even gotten the regular childhood vaccines. How do we know telling the truth? We don't even really know about them getting the vax or not. But what we can see is that they're not wearing a mask. So what's the purpose as I close, I want to say this. Um, anywhere where they still have mass mandates, I feel bad. Where I live, that's that's not even a thing anymore. Like, it's just not. We we do whatever, and there's no big outbreak here. And everybody just falling, falling down in the street, dying. As I said on numerous occasions, they said the most popular variant of this thing was the Omarion, and it's much less deadly than any of the other variants that have been out there. As far as the, the the death and whatnot, it's like the equivalent to like a bad cold and maybe even less than the flu. And there's no big rush to lock everybody down and make them wear masks for the flu and the common cold. So what exactly are we doing? I think what's going to happen here pretty soon is that they're going to pivot away from all this stuff because you got midterms coming up. And they know that these things are very unpopular, even among the Democratic people, because they wanted to frame it like, oh, it's these right wing Trump supporters. They don't want to put a mask on. They don't want to protect grandma. But in reality, everyone knows, or I would say the majority of us know that it's, it's nonsense and it's bogus and nobody wants to do it. So you don't have favor on either side. You can't try to make it be a political thing where you sick your liberal attack dogs on the right because you got to sick those same attack dogs on your own people. So they're going to reduce all this. They're going to start to rescind some of these mandates to try and get a 2020 midterms 2022 part of me midterms in the right direction because as of right now today it's going to be a bloodbath election wise but i think i'll leave that right there for now and what say you how do you feel about what's going on here with super bowl with the people not wearing masks talking about hey you need to wear a mask but they're not wearing it how do you feel about the halftime show how do you feel about uh some of the the, the woke stuff or the the flags flying when they probably shouldn't have been flying they, the, the flags flew at a very convenient time. Whatever your thoughts on any of those things are, please let me know in the comments below. But you guys know where I'm at. I think that um, at a certain point, this has become performative. Uh, the masks and sometimes sports become performative. Now, at, at a certain point, it's like, okay, do we have WWE or do we have reality? It's kind of hard to tell the difference. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.